Potter's Journal. Skiing every day this week and pottery too. Let's see what's going on in the studio today. It is marathon week. I had to get things going. I had a kiln disaster. I have got all my shelves reconditioned. They never look so good. You'd think they were new. I'm glad I waited because I meant to do it all summer, but this time it had to be done. And I closed out the day. Oh, you didn't see this and you weren't supposed to. These are toothbrush holders. There's still going to be little holes cut in there. Okay, serious potters, don't make these. Don't tell anybody. I'm trying to throw something every day. Um, this was day one and two. I did the mugs and then the handles. And then day three, this I felt really good about. The little vases. Okay, I think we're up to day five now. These are going to be little pitchers, and they are going to be heart-shaped pitchers. This idea came from Lee Bass Pottery. He hasn't done a video yet, so I'm waiting to see that. And I will be doing some, okay, rings that will make handles. My little pitchers, Vernon Owen. I took some influence from his, and I will put the heart-shaped thing on top. So I'm still waiting for Lee Bass to up. Uh, wrote a video on that and today too I've been doing mostly little stuff but I need to make some of these handles uh, for jugs okay and you know I am also wanting to prove that yes okay any potter can get dirty so I am wearing the same shirt all week to show you that yes potters who throw a lot of pots can get dirt on them too so eventually it's got to show. Um, for these rings that uh, make good handles or um, said sculpture too, although I don't know that I've seen any, um, the idea too is to throw low and wide. And as you bring this out, make sure you don't get any air stuck under there. Um, the little pitchers. Um, there was something about Lee's that I couldn't recreate. Um, mine were, I think, a little too... I couldn't break away from being too technical and too tightly thrown. And they just didn't seem to have that life that his did. Um, so I just um, took a little bit different direction. I think the pitcher, I don't know, somehow reminded me of um, some kind of milk container or even... Um, um, a medieval style picture that when I saw a video of um, Jeremy Leach throwing one and I didn't know who he was when I saw the video and I thought well this guy can't throw a pot and then I found the, out the history of um, the uh, pitcher and found out um, that actually this is um, medieval style pitcher had a lot of respect and I suddenly found out that every potter that had a name made it at one time. So um, I still have to figure out how to put the heart in the top. I'm afraid there too. I can't quite match. Okay, the loose um, freedom that um, Lee seemed to have in it. And this week, I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it, more relaxed with it. Um, I wasn't, um, oh, actually, the first um, video, as soon as I uploaded it, I immediately started to think, okay, how can I cheat? How can I get out of this? That although I'm not making a ton of pots, I'm trying to throw something every day. But as soon as it was uploaded, and I got a few comments from some of you who I've maybe only heard from a couple times, or maybe not at all, I knew right away. <laughs> there was no cheating. I couldn't get out of it. I have to throw something every day. And I, um, you know, this is not, okay, uh, not anything necessarily big, but um, just something little and something new and different for me. 
Um, I am undercutting this. Um, once it is thrown, once you get it out there, it's like uh, throwing a pot, except you're going all the way down to the wheel, but it's also wide and difficult to get at um, to make sure there's not a lot of trimming, pruning, um, what do you call it, with clay? I keep getting stuck on the nursery um, way of saying it. Um, I'm trying to undercut this so that it has the same shape as the top so that when it comes off the wheel there's actually very little cut surface and there's very little to trim so um yeah your comments uh, like i said day one i knew okay i can do this i can't and and no cheating either okay and finish on the undercut And I've been trying to make yeah the top surface flat because the bottom surface is going to be flat as well. And then just take it off and hold it up and look at it and yeah. Okay, so then just clean up the back. And okay, and these are. Okay, I will be putting these hopefully together later in the week. This is actually, this is going big here. But since it's something I'm redoing because um, there were some problems with a couple of them, kind of is like I'm doing something I've already done again. Um, okay, let's see if there is time to try to put one of the, and I have no idea how he did the, the, the spouts but we want it to look like a heart and we want them to pour oh I don't believe it and you know this is so nice I think the important thing is too the size of it and that it should feel good in the hand let's get a closer look at that Okay, so there we go. And I thought the important thing, too, about these is that they should look and feel comfortable in the hand and like you want to pick them up and pour them even without a handle. Okay, so is that day five? Where are we now? I don't know for sure. Stop back and see if we can keep Marathon going for a week. You've already helped me so much. I know this is going to go out of clay, too. Now I'm out of clay. Stop back. And we will get restocked tomorrow. Make some more pots.